The Little Red Hen There once was a little red hen who lived on a farm with her friends, a sleepy cat, a lazy pig, and a stuck-up duck. One day, the little red hen was scratching around in the farmyard when she found some grains of wheat. She was just about to peck them up when she stopped and thought, If I plant these grains of wheat instead of eating them, she said to herself, they will grow tall and strong and make more wheat. So she tucked the grains of wheat into her apron and went to see her friends. Who will help me plant these grains of wheat? she asked. The cat opened one eye. Not I, she said. I'm too tired. Not I, snorted the pig. It's far too hot to work. Not I, quacked the duck and stood on one foot. So the little red hen found a patch of soil. She moved the stones and dug the earth. She made a row of holes and planted all the grains of wheat. Then she watered them carefully and left them to grow. All summer the sun shone on the grains of wheat and the rain fell on them. Each day the little red hen checked that they were not too dry or too wet. She pulled up the weeds and made sure the wheat had space to grow. At last, the wheat was strong and tall with fat golden grains. This wheat is ready to harvest, she said to herself. That will be a lot of work. The little red hen went to see her friends. I have worked all summer and the wheat is ready. Who will help me harvest it, she asked. The cat stretched lazily. Not I, she said. It's time for my nap. Not I, snorted the pig. I need to roll in the mud. Not I, quacked the duck, and she preened her feathers. So the little red hen took her tools and went to harvest the wheat. She cut down the wheat stalks and piled them up neatly. When she had finished, she went back to her friends. I have worked all day to cut down the wheat, she said. Who will help me make it ready for the mill? The cat yawned. Not I, she said. I am sleepy. Not I, snorted the pig. I'm going to lie in the sun. Not I, quacked the duck and tucked her head under her wing. So the little red hen went back to the field alone. She beat the wheat to free the grains from the stalks and carried away the straw. The wind blew and the little red hen worked long and hard. At last she swept up the wheat and put it into a sack. She carried it back to her friends. I have worked all day to prepare the wheat, she said. Who will help me carry it to the mill? Not I, said the cat. I need a rest. Not I snorted the pig. It looks far too heavy. Not I, quacked the duck, and she waddled away to the pond. So the little red hen carried the heavy sack of wheat all the way to the mill. The kind miller ground the wheat to flour and poured it back into the sack. Then the little red hen carried it all the way home again. The little red hen was exhausted. I have carried the wheat to the mill and had it ground to flour, she said. Who will help me bake it into bread? Not I, said the cat as she curled up ready to sleep. Not I, snorted the pig. It's nearly time for my dinner. Not I, quacked the duck, and she sat on the ground. So the little red hen made her the flour into dough and kneaded it. She shaped it into a loaf and put it in the oven to bake. After a while, a delicious smell wafted from the kitchen. The sleepy cat opened her eyes. The lazy pig came to stand by the oven. The stuck-up duck waddled in. At last, the bread was cooked. The little red hen carried the loaf to the table. It had a beautiful golden crust on the top and was creamy white inside. It smelled wonderful. Who will help me eat this loaf of bread? The little red hen asked quietly. I will, said the sleepy cat, washing her paws with her tongue. I will, 
grunted the lazy pig, licking his lips. I will, quacked the stuck-up duck, flapping her wings. No, you will not, the little red hen said. I planted the grains and watched them grow. I harvest the wheat and took it to the mill. I ground the flour and baked the bread. My chicks and I will eat the loaf. And that is what they did. The little red hen and her little chicks ate up every crumb of the hot, fresh bread. The end.